Hey what's up guys, this is the Procon Geek and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I want to get you started on a series that I call the Procon Tutorials for Absolute Beginners delivered in English. Yes, this is going to be the first video where I'm going to try and take you from being an absolute beginner when it comes to using Procon software which is used for analysis and design of reinforced concrete structures and also steel structures. So, without having to waste too much of your time, I think we should just get right into the content of the video. Okay, so now before we actually get started with anything in this video, what I want you to do is, if this is your first time or even if it's not your first time, go to any web browser that you want, then I want you to go in and type in Procon Geek, right? So what will happen is you will get this page at the top of this, your results, click on it, then you have a YouTube channel that will pop up. So if you are new or if you have not yet subscribed, this is what I want you to do. Pause it, whatever it says, then go to where it says subscribe, click on subscribe, and you will have subscribed to the Procon Geek channel, which is the only channel that provides you Procon tutorials in English. And it even has a number of playlists where you can go through and learn all the designs that you want using Procon or other things that have to do with structural engineering in Procon. I even have a cool how to design a double story building Procon AutoCAD playlist. So sorry for taking too long, but please do that before you actually get started with this video. Okay, so now first thing that we need to understand before we go further, I am not here to show you how to download or install any illegal or cracked versions of Procon. In this tutorial or series of tutorials, I am going to be using Procon in demo mode, right? But one thing that I want you, oh please, before you go away, because I just said demo mode. The reason why I'm going to be using it in demo is because Procon Software Consultant wants you to get the actual version of the application and use it and not use pirated versions. And at the same time, I'm not here to support or encourage piracy or cracking of any software. But one thing that I want you to note is that you can get almost all the features in Procon when you use it in demo that you would get even if Procon was not in demo. I have some videos where Procon is in demo and where some of it is not in demo. There's a licensed version and the non-licensed version because I just want to show you the different ways that you can use Procon. The other one cater for someone who's using it on license. The other one cater for someone who's using it in demo and yes even you're using a correct version of the software i am not here to judge you it's okay with you and some of the tutorials will actually cater for you because you are able to use and get all the functions that you use when you have the the correct software or the paid software so i'm not here to encourage software piracy or anything so i just wanted to get that out straight but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to show you how to download the software from the program software consultants web page install it and then start using it and at the same time even if you have a cracked version or a paid version and remember i am not here to support cracked version program software software consultants maybe you're watching this video so what i'm just going to say is whatever you are hopefully this tutorial is whether you're using whatever type of program it's in demo pirated or even uh, the paid version which i encourage you to do go and buy the software pay for the license and use the software but in the case i cannot to be honest i cannot police you i cannot change you so we're just going to be doing this tutorials to cater for you whatever software that you're going to be using so we don't want to drag this for too long what are we going to do the first thing that we need to do is to actually download the software and install it already i have the software installed on my computer but i'm just going to show you how you actually download it okay so now the first thing that we need to do is install the software so what do you do you go to any web browser that you use in this place i'm going to be using chrome and you can use duckduckgo or you can use google i know most of you use google so what you just do is you go in and you type in procon so just type in procon and the first thing that comes or the first page that is actually displayed on your web browser is going to be the procon page which is www.procon.com all you have to do is go and click on the page hopefully your internet is fast it loads up and there you have it, you're greeted with the Procon Software Consultant page where you can do all sort of things and go through all the sort of the things that they engineer or provide for you. So for the interest of this video, what we just need to do is go to downloads. So now you can go to Procon Setup Package or you can go to all downloads. For this case, we're just going to go to Procon Setup Package, right? This page opens up, you can scroll it down right and all you have to do is go where they say downloading and installing Procon right you can check whether your system requirements will be able to handle Procon but in our case 
I think we're good to go. You can always just click it. There you go. It shows you physical. 1 gig, 2 gig RAM, depending on the version of Windows, right? SVGA, this is for your display and shows you the ProCon compatibilities or anything that you need to know. Now, note, ProCon is not compatible with Windows 10 or Windows S mode, right? This Windows 10 S or Windows S mode, this is just the safe mode, so you don't have to worry about it. But what they recommend is you have a PC with dual cores, 8 gig of RAM or more, NVIDIA Quad Pro FX, you can read all of this on your own. So what we're going to do is, once you get there, just click on the ProCon setup page. It's 474 megabytes, and then it will start downloading, right? Depending on the internet speed, as you can see, mine, I don't know what sure it is, but it'll take about 12 minutes. But we don't have to waste too much time since we already have it installed. So we're just going to skip that. I'm just going to pause it because I already have it installed. Now, but before we proceed, one thing that you need to note is you can get a free, a free limited trial license. Remember, when running in demo mode, some features of the Pro Construction Analysis and Design will be disabled or limited. But don't worry, for the purposes of this series, where we just need to understand how to use ProCon or what ProCon software is, you don't even have to worry about whether it's in demo or it's in full version. So, if you wish to evaluate all the features of the suite, you are welcome to request a free limited trial license. So if you want the entire analysis and design suite, all you can do is go ahead, click on request a free tr limited trial license, right? Click on it and you can try it before you buy. So this is encouraging you to get a trial license which you can use. And even if you're a student, you can request a student license. All you have to do, right, is the name, give your name, your email address, educational institution and program enrolled into proof of the the enrollment for the current academic year and i will tell you you will get the full procon software license for that entire year because you are a student so procon does support students so you can go ahead and do that now since it's uh we have paused the download the next thing that we need to talk about is what you get once you have the software and after you install it Okay, so the first thing that you're going to see is after you install Procon, right? Uh, you can go through, just click on it. It's easy to follow. You, all you have to do is click next, 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 next. But the first thing that you get is once you install it, you will get an icon on your desktop. Never mind all the other icons, but you will definitely get another icon on your desktop, like this one, which I'm saying, which says Procon 32 Shortcut 2. That is what it says. Now, all you have to do is click on it. But now, since I already have it open, so you can just go ahead, click on it. It's not a problem. Then the first thing that is going to happen is it will open up this window or the user interface, which we call the Procon Calc Pad. And this is the first screen that you will be greeted right so just to go through the screen is the first thing that we need to do before we move through anything else and i think we may end the video with just introducing the screen before we move on to setting the user preferences and everything else so the first thing that you need to understand is there you go you're going to have your pro con button this is the way to the main button where you can if you just click on it this is a host of what you can do you can open a new document create a new document and the OGC save it save as close page setup change the page setup and everything else so you see some of them are dimmed out because they're not active because you don't have an active document yet then what you're going to have is you're going to have the home tab where you can have your clipboard you can change the font size and everything and format the document there you have your edit tab where you can change the header, undo, redo, do anything that has to do with the modification of the program document. And then you're going to have the insert. This is where you can do everything that you would want uh, that involves inserting the date, picture, drawing, symbol, equation, page break. But we're going to discuss more about this in another video. But then those two tabs will always be open because this is where you can deal with getting a new update for your software in the case maybe you're using 2.6 2.5 this is where you can get an update if it's available and this is where you can also deal with the license manager so in the case they allow you to download this but then you go onto the website talk to the program software consultants and then they will give you a license so what you have to do is register an account and everything click on it if you want enter your email address if you have a passcode if you click on it it will just have your passcode and then you can log in then you can do whatever if you already have your license everything else will be dimmed out since you don't have anything that you would want so and for the purposes of this video we're just going to be using demo so most of these things we don't even have to worry about them and this is what program license manager what what 25 match 2020 because this is the latest version 
and this is what you get so you can always close it because we're working in demo mode most of these things we're not going to worry about it now since we want to keep this video at about 10 minutes what we're going to do the same thing that we're going to do is we've covered how to download and we've i've given you the basics of what this series is going to be about so don't worry even if we're going to be using program in demo mode i'm going to go through the basics from the very beginning and cover all the design and analysis modules which i feel are important especially when you're in demo and that you need to get started with if you are beginning the series so tune in and in the next video, we're going to be discussing more about the Procon user interface that just shows up when you start the program. And we go over setting the user preferences and going over what some of these buttons mean. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.